Working? Come on. I think I can hear you. Yeah, that's me. I don't think I could ever stop trucking. Actually, my girlfriend at the time that I was with, her dad was a trucker. We're, me and her were together for a while, and I always talked to him about trucking. I've always liked trucks, always seen them go by and everything. And so, I was a mechanic, and I don't know, just one day I was just like, I just, I want to be a truck driver. And I told my family about it and everything, and they're like, you are out of your mind. And they're like, that is not going to work. That's not going to happen. And uh, I went against everybody. I quit my job. I started working with my brother to get keep cash coming in. I went through CDL school and everything. Started out with Trans Am. I ran with them for about five, six months. And then uh, I wanted a Peterbilt. There's just something about a Peterbilt, man. You pull in, everyone's turning their head. And I found a company, and they, I got a, uh, was it, 2006, 379 at 13 speed. She had a million and a half miles on it. And uh, she had been around the block a few times, needless to say. I mean, she was, she was tired old girl. And I loved it. And uh, ran with them for a while. In my personal life, things went south fast. I ended up becoming single after a very long time uh, because of being on the road. And I was with them for another six, seven months. And I was like, this just ain't working out. And I went home and I had to get my mind right and get it all together. And about two months after being home, three months, I was like, man, I can't take it anymore. I have, a, I have the trucking simulator and I have like the full race seat at home with the shifter and everything. And uh, I actually got another girlfriend and she left me because I'd sit on this simulator all day long, just driving loads on the game. And she's like, what is wrong with you, dude? She's like, get off it. And she just didn't understand. I needed, I had the itch for the road. And it's this thing they call it white line fever. Don't get any ideas. It's the white line on the side of the road. And uh, dude, once you, you put it in your eye and it's just like, it, it's it's calming. It's, it's, it's an addiction. It's like, like when I go home on home time, I'll get I'll be there for like a day or two, and I'll literally get in my pickup and have to drive around if my load's not ready or something. It's crazy. My buddy who worked for the company I'm with now, and I said, hey man, I said, I need to get my life back together. I need to get back on the road. He goes, give me five minutes. All right. The boss called me five minutes later and said, well, so-and-so called me and uh, I'll take anything he says to heart. He said, he, he, uh, he said, you're a good driver. I'll take you right now. I said, all right, when do you want me to be there? He said, Jerry will be there to pick you up Friday. This is a Tuesday morning. I said, what? I still had my job, I still had my whole, everything around me going on. So I dropped everything, I quit my job, pulled my toolbox out of the shop, put it in my bedroom, locked the door, kissed the family goodbye. He pulled in Friday morning, I jumped in the truck and I slept across the front seats of the truck for three days. Got up here and I've been with them for over a year now. 
So all of it together, and it's it's great. I I love it. I mainly run Wisconsin to Florida because I live in Florida. Mainly a whole down produce, meat, cheese, stuff like that, vegetables. In anything that's refrigerated. Past couple weeks, I've been getting it pretty good. And I did a 10 day spurt, I got 5,000 miles in. I was, I was turning and burning with that. You can do that when you're on the long runs, like Wisconsin to Florida like that because you can put it in the wind and don't stop. Come on! So this is how I ride when it's at night. And I got the uh, lasers up on the roof and all that stuff. And then, you know, I've got all the dash pieces and stuff for it. And so then you come back here, you got a closet right here. I've got like little drawers and stuff in there. It's kind of like just to cram everything in there because that's the last good spot. They got the refrigerator here. Like I said, I ain't really ain't got much in there. I just have it on for drinks and stuff. And then closet, got my boots and my shoes and stuff like that all in there. And then the bed, it's a it's super single. So it's a little bit bigger than a single. It does, you know, just as well. I got cabinets all the way around on the top. Now, some of them only have the side cabinets. Mine's got it all the way around, you know, all my hats and stuff up there. This is where I do all the editing for the channel right here. I have all that up there. And obviously I have music and stuff right there. It's life behind the wheel. And then I got the microwave, my Xbox up here. Funny story about this, if you drop the clutch too hard, and this is loose, it'll sling the Xbox out and the microwave and everything will fall down to the ground and break. I broke two microwaves so far. And then um, I basically just keep my clothes and stuff up there. I mean, and, I mean that's really it, just a little home. Trove for everyone yesterday, truck show. So, I mean, that's it. You basically just have this one spot and you, you do circles in, but you can stand up. Now I got some speakers up under there. You know, you gotta have the, you gotta have the tunes bumping when you're riding. I mean, that's really it, just a little home. You know? So, there's a lot of different things that's gonna play into the life and behind, like the life out here and life on the road. And you've gotta find your niche. Whenever they were talking about us a lot during COVID, that was the best time I've had trucking. Dude, people were giving me thumbs up, giving me gift baskets and stuff. It was awesome. Every single driver said, don't get used to it. They're going to forget about us again. Sure enough, as soon as the place opened back up, getting flicked off, cut off, no gift baskets, no thank yous, no, no nothing. And it sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, it's our job. I signed up for this. I don't want to get a pat on the back. I'm not a hero. I love doing this. This is my job, this is my life. I live in the truck, I mean. So, it was nice to be recognized, but it is what it is, you know? I don't try and flaunt it or nothing like that. I mean, but everything you have, one of us did bring. <laughs> Yes, sir. Don't forget to have me on Facebook, so I can send you a link.